Welcome to the YCA Lantern, our weekly YouTube program presented by the Brennan Church of Christ Youth and Family Ministry. We are so glad that you have chosen to join us for today. Those of you who live in the Brenham area or happen to be visiting, we hope that you will also join us for worship services on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock and Bible classes for all ages at 11.15. We also welcome you to our Wednesday night Bible classes for all ages at 6.30. Please remember to click the share button and the subscribe button. Thank you for helping us reach our goal in 2020 of 100 subscribers. Help us reach our new goal in 2021 of 150 subscribers. Now enjoy the program and remember, let your light shine. church in Brenham. I'm Brett Hicks and this is my wife Haley and uh, unfortunately we couldn't put the two girls in the video. We've got a six-year-old uh, Mackenzie and a nine-year-old Kennedy and uh, they're very excited about the the upcoming move as well as myself and Haley. We we look forward to coming to work with you and excited to work with the youth and to, to get to work this summer. I know this is going to be a time that we learn the the whereabouts and the routines of Brenham, and, and hopefully we can bring a few things with us to to help um, spread the message of God. And we look, we're really excited. We really are. Um, we look forward to to not only the new challenges of living in a place that we've never lived, but to being with brothers and sisters in Christ uh, that are roughly 500 miles away from where we are now. And that is so comforting to us to know that we have family, even though we get so far away from what we've known for so long. I wish we can be there tomorrow, but unfortunately, we uh, we have our jobs that we have to complete here in Macomb. I'm a seventh and eighth grade Bible teacher and baseball coach, and Haley teaches second grade. Uh, good news is, is she should be uh, teaching at Krause Elementary. Anybody that might be going into uh, a grade there, uh, they might have Miss Hicks as their uh, their next teacher, which we're really excited about. And then I'm going to be there. Uh, whether you want it or not, I'm going to be there and uh, embarrassing you at sporting events and uh, all the things that you participate in, get ready to see my face. Now, um, Haley's going to talk just a little bit about some of the things we have coming up this summer that we're really looking forward to, and um, I'm going to let her talk for a few minutes, and then after this, I'm going to do a short devotion on one of the things that you have been talking about through your videos, but talk, dealing with the Sermon on the Mount, and uh, at this time, I'm going to let Haley talk, and then I'll jump in. All right. Hey, guys. So, like Brett said, my name is Haley, and I'm super excited to be joining you very soon. Um, we are busy wrapping up our school year. Um, the girls are wrapping up their after school activities and we cannot wait to be in Burnham with y'all. Um, we are planning a vacation Bible school. We're very excited about that. We are looking forward to working with um, some very special people over there in Burnham to get that off the ground and running. We're also excited about camps this summer. Um, Kennedy's super excited about uh, going to camp with uh, the children and the youth there. And we are, of course, super excited about the family retreat and the, the camp that we'll be um, doing during that time. So, uh, like I said, if you need anything uh, between the now and the time we get there, hopefully uh, first week of June is our, 
uh, shoot, right, to be there yes. first week of June. Yeah. So that'll be here before we know it. So if you need anything, uh, please reach out to Matt, get our contact information, shoot us a message, uh, shoot us a text, call us. Uh, we're here for you, and we are super excited, and we will see you very soon. Introducing myself to my family, but to also put a little biblical devotion together on, on what you've been studying or what you're going to look for in the ahead. And, and Matt told me that y'all are talking about the Sermon on the Mount. Well, this helps out a lot because I've been teaching this for roughly the past nine weeks to my seventh and eighth grade Bible class at, at school. Uh, I teach junior high and high school uh, Bible as well as coach baseball. And uh, the Sermon on the Mount has been kind of the forefront of what we've been talking about. There's many different avenues you can go to. You know, this is the largest collection of red words in the Bible. This is Jesus actually delivering a sermon that's recorded in Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7. But I want us to take a look at the scripture that, that is titled, Do Not Worry, in Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. I remember using this devotion first in, in my life when I was about 17 or 18 years old. Not this specific devotion, but using this set of scripture. And uh, there's something that you might uh, need to know about me. I, I've faced anxiety in the past, a high level of anxiety. And, and it really culminated around college. I was uh, playing football at the University of Southern Mississippi. I was also graduating. I played my last football game. Uh, graduation was coming up. Haley and I had been dating since I was 15 years old. And I knew it was time to make that step to ask her to marry me. You know, in the progression of things, that's how things go. And all these things kind of culminated at one time. And I went through a severe bout of anxiety. And I found comfort in reading scripture. And the scripture that we're going to look at today really put things into perspective for me. Jesus begins by talking in verse 25 saying, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is life not more important than food? and the body more important than clothes. And he talks about the birds of the air and the animals uh, or the flowers of the, of the uh, fields. And he goes into a little bit more in depth that I could read the scripture, but at the very end of the section, do not worry in verse 33 and 34, it says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. You know, I read that scripture and I take a different approach to it than some people will. I don't think Jesus for one second was telling us that we're not going to have worries or cares or burdens in this life. I think what Jesus is trying to get across here is that we must prioritize and know that God has everything in control. As long as we are seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything's going to be okay. You know, Haley and I are making this move to Brenham, Texas from Macomb, Mississippi. I've lived here since I was five years old. That's 30 years I've lived in the same town. Haley was born here. She's 33 years old. We've known nothing else or no other town since we went to college and came back. Um, I should be worried about this. I should have some anxiety about this big change. But to tell you the truth, I haven't. I have comfort in knowing that I have family in Brenham. Maybe not blood relation, but I've got a church family 500 miles away. And that brings uh, great comfort. I also know that I'm seeking God's kingdom in this. That this is where I feel that God is leading me and my family to. And if you keep that in the forefront of your mind, then there are no problems that can't be overcome. Now, I know many of you are making the transition from high school to college or junior high to high school or middle school to junior high, and you probably have some anxiety, some, some burdens, some things that are making you worry at this moment. And I want you to know, first of all, you're not the only one. You're not the first person to feel this way. You're not the only one that's feeling that way. And, and I want you to know that Haley and I both have gone through this. And we are at a point to where hopefully we can help you, that you can come talk to us. And, and I, I hope that you feel comfortable enough to come talk to us about those burdens and cares. That's what we're here for. 
We want to be a part of your life, and we hope that you'll allow us uh, to be there for you as we know that you're going to be there for us. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you first week of June. I just wanted to pop in and just say how grateful I am uh, to have been able to work with you guys this past year um, and during COVID and all the things that we got to do together uh, from the Genesis game stations to our VBS program this past summer to uh, even the small groups that we got to do together on Zoom. Uh, I'm just really happy that I had the opportunity uh, to be with y'all through that. Um, and yeah, and I'm really excited for Brett and Haley uh, for them kind of uh, for me passing the torch to them and for them to carry that. And uh, I'm sure y'all love them very much. Uh, and y'all are going to have an amazing time and awesome things are going to happen in uh, Brenham Church of Christ Youth and Children's Ministry. Um, so for me, I'm actually going to be going to Georgia this summer to be working for a summer camp uh, where I'm going to be actually traveling kind of around the east side of the United States, uh, kind of sharing the gospel with kids. Um, and I'm really excited for that. Uh, and then in the fall, I'm going to be moving to Atlanta, Georgia to uh, work on a seminary degree actually. And so, uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to come back, um, but we are going to have a game night on May 21st, uh, and I get to be there in person. So I get to meet y'all actually face-to-face, uh, -face, which I am so excited about. Uh, and so, yeah, so I just wanted to pop in to say that and say that I'm really grateful and really excited for the future of this ministry, and that I will see y'all soon on May 21st. But Joseph said, I would never do anything like that. Only the men found to have the cup will be my slave. The rest of you may go back to your father in peace. Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Station. My name is Dustin, and today we're going to be learning about Genesis chapter 44. And the game we're playing is Rapid Fire. Make sure you listen up. I'm going to tell you all the things you need to know to win this game. So, let's get into it. And again, we're going to do medium. I think that's the best pace for me. Who spoke up to plead with Joseph? Yes. I think they said that in the last one, too. Judah spoke up uh, twice. Uh, what did the brothers agree to when they were accused for paying evil for good? Oh, there's a lot of words. Uh, that they would pay double what was the item was worth. They would all die if anything was found. I think that one. No. All their goods would be forfeited if anyone found it. No. If anything was found death to whomever was whomever was guilty and the others would become slaves yikes that's intense uh what did joseph ask his steward to put in the sack of benjamin oh his silver yes this is drama right here that joseph's kind of stirring up what did judah ask joseph to do instead of keeping benjamin in egypt to trade himself for benjamin yes they really loved Benjamin. They wanted to keep Benjamin, you know. What would happen if, to Jacob if Benjamin did not return? Uh, he would die. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was the punishment Joseph required from Benjamin? He would be him. Would be his, yeah, he would be his slave. Um, what was the brothers' reactions when the cup was found in Benjamin's sack? They tore it. Yes, they were like upset. They're like, no, what did Benjamin steal something? Um, really a lot of drama in this chapter. It's kind of short, but it's a lot of drama. Um, but yeah, that's it for this game station. Make sure you check out the link below to play this game on your own and try to get a higher uh, score than I did because I got a couple wrong, I think. So uh, yeah, that's it for this game station. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. This light of mine. Thank you for watching this week's episode of the YCA Lantern. We hope you are encouraged and uplifted by today's program. Tune in each week as we explore the book of Genesis together. Find us on YouTube by searching for Brenham Church of Christ, and while you're there, catch old episodes or even past worship services. Help us reach our next goal of 150 subscribers by liking, subscribing, and sharing our channel with your family and friends. And remember, let your light shine in 2021. Jesus is the light.